Hey guys, it's me, Christina Marie. Do you guys ever have this problem where you get the hair color all over yourself? Look at me. So I'm trying, I was like trying to move it around, seeing if it will break up, right? But you can see like a lot of it, a lot of it I know I'm gonna stain my skin. You can see I got it on my arm. I got it on my shoulder a little bit, right? So this is a foolproof way to get the color off your skin so it doesn't stain your skin and you're walking around with that line, right? Okay, so check this out. So I know a lot of this is gonna stain. As you can see, when I move it, it's still there. Um, this is a foolproof way how to not stain your skin if you are messy like I am, I guess. Okay, so I unfortunately do not have the one product that I know 100% will get all of this off your skin without staining. And a lot of times this will even work after you've washed your hair. Sometimes it won't, but a lot of times it will. But it will work 100% if you're doing this, like at this stage of coloring your hair. I'm in the middle. I think I'm like 10, 15 minutes into this. So I know it's already staining my skin. But this is Palmolive Original, right? It It's not the best one to use. The best one would be this one right here, which is the Dawn Dishwashing Soap. <laughs> <laughs> that link will be down below. So I like to buy Dawn dishwashing soap because not only does it help clean my dishes, it actually is the best for this. If you color your hair, guys, and you always go and, you know, and you're like, oh, I stained my skin, I skin, what am I going to do? Like, just go invest in the Dawn dishwashing soap that I posted down in the comment section. It's just, what, five bucks or it's cheap. You guys know that because you can use it for multiple things especially when it comes to hair coloring. Dawn dishwashing soap, you're gonna massage it onto the skin. It's gonna take away every bit of this color. Just don't touch your actual hairline. So we're gonna do this second thing I have, which is the palm olive. If you don't have dishwashing soap and you have a clarifying shampoo, that will work as well. But the number one best one is the Dawn dishwashing soap. So we're gonna pour it right here. And the reason I say Dawn is because it's super concentrated. This palm olive stuff, it's not like super duper duper concentrated like the Dawn dishwashing soap. Okay, so you're gonna take it, right? And you're gonna massage it into the skin like this, look, okay? But we're not touching the hair. If you touch your hair, guys, that color is gonna stop working. So we're just gonna massage into the actual like skin. And when I say massage it, I don't mean just put it on and rub it once. I mean, actually like massage it, right? And the nice thing is you can actually cut out your hairline. So let me show you. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, so we're rubbing, rubbing. Oh, let me put it on my arms. Shoot. Okay. Rub it, put it on the arms. Dang it, I got a lot more on my arm. Okay, and then... Uh, my shoulder. Ah, I should have worn a black bra. Look at that. I stained my bra. Oh, well, this is an ugly bra anyways. Okay. And then this actually smells good. I will say that, but it's not about the fragrance. It's about the getting this stuff off of my skin. <laughs> okay. Now I know you're going to be like, oh my gosh, well, it's going to dry on my skin and it's just going to sit there. Well, yes, it is going to dry on your skin and it's just going to sit there for a few minutes. It's not like the end of the world. You're not going to break out in acne if you're freaking out about something like that, which a lot of you guys could. It's just going to really clean your skin. <laughs> okay, so we got it on, right? We're rubbing it on. You rub it, rub it, rub it. Try to make a lather. See, like if this was Dawn, I would have already had a lather by now, but I don't have a lather. Like, I don't know, the Dawn's just thick. I use it to clean my tub. I use it to clean my face, like when I do this. <laughs> um, I use it for everything. So, okay, we're rubbing, right? Oh, sh son of a gun. I have it everywhere. How did I just get it in my neck? How did I do that? How did I do that? I'm going to be squeaky clean after this, guys. Okay, so once you have it on, right, grab a Q-tip. If you don't have a Q-tip, grab a... I don't know what to grab. Grab a brush. A tiny makeup brush or something. But 
So this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna get the Dawn dishwashing soap. So just put it on the back of the glove. Okay, it's on. I'm gonna get it on the tip. Now with this, we're gonna go and we're gonna literally cut out our hairline. Remember, if you get this soap on your actual hair, while it's processing, your color will not process. But you see, look, I'm cutting it out like this. So that's more my natural hairline. And because it has that cotton and you can get really like a hard, you can push hard on these Q-tips. These are not the generic Q-tips. These are the Q-tip Q-tips <laughs> by Q-tip. <laughs> They're, they're more durable to push. Some of the ones with the plastic, they're not as durable. I sound so silly. I'm like, only the name brand today. <laughs> okay, so you guys can see. So I'm cutting out my hairline. But that piece of hair that I just touched, right? Oh, no. I thought it was. No. That piece of hair, I was going to say. Yeah, there is a piece of hair right there. If that's a gray hair, it won't cover. Because I just touched it. Okay. But... You know, a lot of times you cut, you color your hair and you have that, that, that stain, that round, and it's embarrassing going out where everybody knows you colored your hair. Okay. I think we're good, right? How's the hairline look? You see how it's darkening up? Okay, so if you by chance did like jack up your hair color, it more than likely won't work, but you can take a little bit of the color on another Q-tip and place it down really thick in that area. So I think right here, this is really, really dark. It's gonna be dark because I haven't touched any color, any of the soap there. So I'm gonna just put a lot of the color, see? You just get it and you just push it down just to kind of make sure that the shape is correct. And that's it. That's it. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to shower in a few minutes. And I'm going to let you guys know what my hair looks like afterwards. But if you could just keep working like this, the dishwashing soap. Look, see, you can already see that there, well, shit, shoot. Sorry, don't mean to curse. Try not to curse. Family friendly channel. You can see it's still dark right there because I'm using palm olive. And you palm olive lovers don't be coming for me. <laughs> so just work it, work it guys into the skin. If you think like, okay, it doesn't look like it's coming up. And trust me, sometimes it doesn't look like it's coming up. And as soon as I get in the shower, you'll see how all of this just melts off because it looks like a streak there, streak there. Looks like it's staining, but it shouldn't be if this is a good dishwashing soap. Mm. <laughs> Anyways, I'll see you guys in a bit. I'm just going to keep working this into the skin because I'm a little concerned that obviously that they are. Why am I getting it all over me? Uh, they're not. This company, Palm Olive, is not as strong as Dawn dishwashing soap. Because I don't want to be all stained everywhere. Okay, I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, so here's the moment of truth. I just got out of the shower. I haven't even gotten dressed. You guys can't see that part. Um, let me take my hair down and let's see. Wow. It did pretty good. I still think there's some spots. It did pretty good, believe it or not. But look at this. I just put some lotion on my skin. Can you see this spot right here? So, let's see the other arm. The other arm, no. But there is that spot, that stain on my arm, my shoulder, a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. So, obviously, my conclusion was correct that this one, the Palm Olive, is nearly not as good as the Dawn dishwashing soap. But it did a pretty good job. So, let's go ahead and just talk about if you colored your hair, you got out and your skin is already stained. You can try the Dawn dishwashing soap. If that did not work, you need to go to your, your cooking cabinet. Yeah. 
where you have your oils or even if you have a face oil uh but your cooking oils like your coconut oil your canola oil your olive oil preferably canola or olive are better for the skin and you get that and you lather that all on your face where it is stained on your skin you lather it you put it on there I mean, you look all totally greasy you stay like that for a few hours right and then what you do is you take it off wipe it off and then try the dawn dishwashing soap on top of it remember if you don't have that try an alternative dishwashing soap if you don't have that use a clarin clarifying shampoo that is the only way that you're actually going to so your skin is going to stain because it's dehydrated. It soaked up that um, that color. It soaked it up so bad that um, it stained it where it doesn't want to come off. So you want to hydrate the skin as much as possible. And if you want to take it one step extra where you're like, okay, well, I don't think the oil is going to work. Put a serum, any type of serum, because a serum has a smaller molecule. It absorbs into the skin. Put a serum, a lot of serum on that area. Put the oil on top. Do that. Walk around for a few hours. Come back wash it off with the Dawn dishwashing soap, then try the Dawn dishwashing soap once again on it. That is the best way to get color off the skin if it's already stained. But this is obviously a way to prevent your skin from staining. Look, because I cut out my hairline with the um, with the Q-tip, look how, how awesome it looks, right? So you guys remember right here, I was like boom, 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 boom. And look, you can tell that it's cut out because it's so thick in the color. And the stain on my skin right here because I have less hair right here. So you can see that works wonderfully. I hope you guys enjoyed this tip. If you do, please leave me a comment in the in the comment section down below. Give me a thumbs up. Hit the little subscribe button for notifications of new videos. Mwah! I love you all. God bless you. I hope you have a great day. I hope you get that stain off your skin because that's why you're watching this video. And I hope you have a joyful an enlightened evening. Uh, God bless you guys. Once again, please comment if you can. I'm Christina Marie. I'm out. Bye. Oh, oh, let's go ahead and just roll on over to the quote of the day. Bye.